In this lesson, you are going to learn about reference triangles. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to use reference triangles to evaluate trigonometric functions of any angle. Reference angle is defined as the angle that the terminal side of an angle make with the x-axis. If you have the angle drawn in the standard position. So for quadrant 1, the reference angle is as shown. And for quadrant 2, theta will be the reference angle, quadrant 3, uh, and quadrant 4, they are shown. The reference triangle will be the, the right triangle that the reference angle make with the x-axis. If you just draw a straight line down, that means you are going to make a right triangle. So you can use that right triangle to calculate or to evaluate the three functions. So this first example, we are asked to determine the values of the trigonometric functions of angle theta. And angle theta, in this case, we are talking about angle in the, in the first quadrant. We are given the, the coordinate position of the terminal side of this angle theta. So we can use this coordinate point to actually evaluate the trigonometric function involving this angle theta. So, for example, the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 3. So that means this side of this right triangle is 4 and this side is 3 because this is the y side, okay, the vertical side, and this is the x side. So since we know these two sides, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this distance r. r square, according to Pythagorean theorem, is 4 square plus 3 square. So r is going to be the square root of 16 plus 9. So that gives us square root of 25. So r in this case is 5. Okay. So since we know the value of r, so that means we have all the side of the right triangle and we can just find all our trigonometric functions. So sine theta, as we already know, is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite of this angle theta, is 3. So this will be 3 over 5. Cos theta will be the adjacent divided by uh, hypotenuse. And tan theta is opposite divided by adjacent. Okay. The reciprocal function cosecant theta, if you remember, cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. So cosecant theta in this case is going to be 5 divided by 3. And second theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. Okay, so then we need to flip that, so it's going to be 5 over 4. And the cotan theta, okay, is going to be the reciprocal of the tan, 1 over tan theta. So in this case, it's going to be 4 over 3. So these are the values for this 6 uh trigonometric function for this particular question. Well, we want to note that all the trigonometric functions are positive in quadrant one. All trigonometric functions are positive. So for question number two, we are dealing with the second quadrant. So this will be our reference angle, okay? So the um, y value is 15 and the s value in this case is negative 8. So using the, so we want to find this r, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can see that r will be the square root of 15 square plus negative 8 square, okay? So r in this case will be 17. So we know that r is 17. So then we can determine the exact values of all the trig uh, functions. So for sine theta, sine theta will be opposite. So opposite will be 15 over uh, hypotenuse, which is 17. Cos theta will be adjacent, which is negative 8, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 17. And tan theta will be the opposite divided by adjacent, which is negative 8. So you can just say negative 15 over 8. And again, cosec theta 
the reciprocal of sine theta will be 17 over 15. And second theta, which is the reciprocal of the cosine theta, would be negative 17 over 8. And the cotan theta is also the reciprocal of the tan. So that is going to be negative 8 over 15. And that's the sixth uh, trigonometric function for this particular question. And if you look at this, you will see that, okay, sine theta is positive in second quadrant. Of course, when the sine theta is positive, the uh, reciprocal, which is the cosecant theta, is also going to be positive. So for this question, we are only given the points. Again, this is the value of x. This is the value of y of the terminal side of the angle that is uh, drawn in standard position. So we want to determine again the exact value of the six trigonometric functions of the angle. So since we have negative x, okay, that would be this side, and negative y, that would be this side. So we know that reference angle and the reference triangle is going to be in the third quadrant, okay? So this side is negative 5, and this side is negative 12. So to find the value of r, let's use the Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be negative 5 square plus negative 12 square, okay? So this gives us that r equals to 13. So sine theta is opposite, which is going to be negative 12 over 13. Cos theta is going to be negative 5, which is the adjacent over 13. And tan theta is going to be opposite, which is negative 12, divided by adjacent, which is negative 5. So negative will cancel negative. So tan theta is actually 12 over 5. So for the reciprocal trig functions, so the cosecant theta will be the, we are just going to flip the sine theta. So it's going to be negative 13 over 12. And then the second theta will be negative 13 over 5. And the cotan theta will be 5 over 12. So if you notice this, so we are in quadrant 3. And in quadrant 3, we have that the tan theta is positive. So this example also gives us the uh, x and the y coordinate points of the terminal side of the angle. So since the x is positive and the y is negative, so we are in the fourth quadrant. So let's draw it. X side is 10 and the y side is negative 8. So we need to find the, the R, which is the missing side of the triangle. Uh, using the Pythagorean theorem again, so we are going to have R equals to the square root of 10 square plus negative 8 square. So this is going to be R is the square root of 164, okay? So we don't want decimal point. So 164 is 4 multiplied by 41. So R will be 2 root 41, okay? So now we have the value of R to be... 2 root 41. So we can now find the trig function. So sine theta will be equals to negative 8 over 2 root 41. So if you simplify that, 2 will go in 8. This will be 4. Okay. And normally you want to multiply it by root 41. The denominator and the numerator so that we can simplify so this is this will become so sine theta will become negative 4 root 41 divided by 41 okay because root 41 multiplied by root 41 is just going to be uh, 41 so our cos theta okay is adjacent which is 10 in this case divided by 2 root 41. 2 goes in 10, that will be 5, 
We can also multiply with root 41, both the numerator and the denominator. So that will give us, cos theta will give us 5 root 41 divided by 41. So tan theta will be equals to, opposite will be negative 8 divided by adjacent, which is 10. So tan theta will be negative 4 over 5. So for the reciprocal, cosecant theta will be negative root 41 divided by 4. For secant theta, root 41 divided by 5. And cotan theta will be negative 5 over 4. So as you can see in quadrant 4, only the cosine, okay, theta is positive. So to put it all together, so I want you to remember this acronym, all students take chemistry. So this is the way to remember that in quadrant one, all the trig functions are positive. In uh, quadrant two, only the sign is positive. In the quadrant three, only the tangent is positive. In quadrant four, only the cosine is positive. Okay, so we say all students take chemistry. So thank you so much. This is the end of the lesson. Please remember to subscribe.